Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be on a little bit of a flow right now. I feel like the YouTube is back on schedule. We are posting every Sunday like before. That's right, that's right, that's what I want to see guys, that's what I want, I want to see consistency! Today has been a super long day, I am absolutely shattered, it is coming up to 8pm at night, I've been up since 7am and when I tell you I have not stopped, so I thought I'd sit down and film a really cute, chilled, get unready with me, featuring the, the brand, brand new Fenty, Fenty Beauty, Beauty Fenty, Fenty Skin, Skin cookies, cookies and Clean. Clean. It's a detox face mask. Never tried this before. I think I'm like one of the first people in the UK to have this product. I haven't seen anyone talk about it. So we're going to feature this. And we're also, because why not? I'm also going to throw in some motivational tips because recently I've been feeling a lot more motivated and kind of like in a new zone. And I wanted to share with you what I've been doing and just a few little tips. You know, I love helping you guys out. Am I, do I get changed? Should I get changed? I'm not sure. Also, in true Danny DeFreitas style, you know I love going over the top. Because this product is called Cookies in Clean, I decided to purchase some Oreo cookies. I should not be eating this. Definitely not, but I'll have one or two. Okay, so where do I start? This is gonna be a very different kind of video. I haven't filmed something like this in a while. I'm gonna clip my hair back because I'm gonna take my makeup off. This is how my makeup is looking. I did my makeup at 8 a.m. No, wait, at 7 a.m. I did my makeup at 7 a.m. and this is how it's looking now. It's actually lasted really good and I didn't even set the makeup. It's a little bit She's such a weirdo. And I, I mean, the lips have come off, you know, it's, it's not looking super amazing, but we move. But anyway, I decided to try out not only this brand new Fenty product, which I'll talk more about in a minute. Um, I'm also going to be trying out some brand new skincare stuff that I've never used before. So we'll just crack on. Um, we're going to start off with this Micellar Mousse Purifying and Nourishing Effortless Rinse Off Cleanser from Medicaid. I have never used anything from this brand before. Actually, I I opened this up today. I literally opened this up today. I don't know what my boyfriend is doing today. He's causing a lot of noise in the background. I'm like, can you shush? Yeah, anyway, I was saying, I just filmed a huge PR unboxing on my TikTok. If you're not yet following me on my TikTok, please go out and follow me on my TikTok. It's just Danny DeFreitas. And I think it's a new series that I'm gonna start and it's a huge PR unboxing which I'm actually really, 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 really excited to um, start. It's just, because I get PR every single week and I get so much stuff. Say goodbye to the makeup. Um, I get so much stuff that I just thought, okay, what's a good way of sharing this? Because are we still loving stories on Instagram? Like, I don't know, it, it kind of got a little bit stale and I love doing both. This actually feels really nice. I love a cleanser, personally. So yeah, so I started a new series on my TikTok. Please go and follow me on there if you've not yet done so. And also last week we posted questions I usually avoid answering. So yeah, that was a really juicy video. If you've not yet watched that video that I posted last week, go and watch that for sure because it's a really, really, really funny, good video. It's a little bit juicy. First impressions on this, on this micellar mousse, really nice actually, really, really nice. Medicaid's kind of like more of your like medical grade skincare line. So it's something that usually I wouldn't really be drawn to just because I, I, this, this aesthetic is not bad, but she's already getting covered in foundation marks. Let me go and rinse this off because I feel like I haven't even given you a tip yet. I'm not sure guys. I'm not sure how I feel. There's still a lot of makeup around my eyes. My eyebrows, where I use my like brow product, is literally like just flaking, but it hasn't really taken it off. I mean, I really like the texture. I really like, it's like, I, I think this would be good as a second cleanse, but not just as a one take it, like does it all, takes it off. I'm a huge fan, I think we all know this, of the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This takes it all off and it doesn't like sting my eyes. And I definitely got this a little bit on my eye and it stang. I will use that as a second cleanse, but maybe not as a first off. So I'm gonna use my Vichy, it's all French, so I always find it very hard. Purete Thermal, which is the waterproof makeup remover. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that to just get rid of the mascara, which is very important. You do this step. 
But yeah, I mean, I'm having fun just hanging out with you guys, just chatting, you know, there is meant to be some motivational tips going on. So we'll crack on with that. Should we have a biscuit? <laughs> ASMR. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. You're ashamed of yourself. Are you not embarrassed? Okay, so motivational tips. Just things that I've been finding are, have been just really helpful for me. Just to like work smarter, not harder. I feel like we're all in this transitional phase right now where like everything's kind of like going back with work and stuff. We're back in the office. We're back with like events and things are kind of like really picking up again. So we're all in this kind of like transitional phase and it can feel quite overwhelming. If so yeah, motivational tip number one is gonna be to set clear goals. I feel like it's really important that if you want to be motivational with yourself, if you want to see some motivation, then you've got to kind of know where you're going. You kind of have to have goals that you're setting and you're working towards them. So personally for me, I always do like a yearly goal thing, but this year I've actually decided to take it one step further. So if you're not yet doing the yearly goals, do it guys, do it. Cause I've, I've spoken about this many times on my channel and it actually really works well for me, but yeah. I would say doing, now, what I'm doing right now is like quarterly goals where I'll literally have like the first three months, second three months, blah, blah, blah. There's four quarters in the year and I'll have like mini goals for those. And then I've also done a vision board this year and I've just put it as my phone screensaver. And those are things that I really want to attract in my life, whether it be, like I put a picture of a gym there cause I really want to work out. I put a picture of like a carbonara because really want to learn how to cook better. Like just things that I really want to see every day and kind of have at the back of my mind that those are visual things that I really want to attract in my life. Okay, next up, I'm going to pop this brand new Cookies and Clean Fenty Skin Detox Face Mask on. I was really, really, really excited to get this. It says the directions, apply an even layer to clean skin, wet or dry. Cool. Um, massage until the charcoal beads break and the mask turns from white to gray. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, use two to three times per week. Um, let me show you what it looks like, because it actually looks really cool. Oh my God, look at this. How cool is this? Okay, I found this funny little <laughs> mask applicator from Revolution Skin. And um, yeah, it has a brush on one side and like a clean little like special thing. I think I'm gonna use this, but I might have to rub it in so that the beads break and then it turns into like a different texture, okay? So bear with me. Okay, so we are going to dunk in and apply it onto our face. <laughs> I, don't know I don't know why it's making me giggle, sorry. Okay, so tip number two is going to be write to-do lists. That's right, I know this sounds so basic. I know, I know you're gonna think, Danny, what are these tips? But guys, we hear this all the time, but do you put these things into action? And I have to-do lists for everything. I literally have daily to-do lists, weekly to-do lists. I have to-do lists for my team. I have to-do lists for like work-related stuff. I have personal to-do lists. I actually have a shared to-do list with my boyfriend so that we know what we need to get done. How I do this, I actually usually just write my list. How cool is this? on my phone or my notes section. And if you need to share it, you can actually just share the notes to other people and they can just accept the invitation. So really, really easy. And then as I go through it, I just tick things down so you can have like a little tick box. And what's really, really good is I also have a notebook where I write by hand. So on the actual day, I will write down. So let's say today, if I've got 10 things that I need to get done, I will write them down by hand and with a little box next to it. And then I'll just tick it as I go through. So I know that today, all I need to do is just do that because when I'm on my phone, sometimes I get distracted and then there's, it's all happening and then there's a notification and blah, 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 blah. And sometimes you can kind of like lose your mojo. So like, for me, having that little written down, I can just focus on that, it's a lot more calm, and I, I just crack on, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just so much easier. So, I have a mix of like writing it down on my phone so it's always with me, and then on the little notebook. And let me know what you prefer, if you do write to-do lists, but yeah, I find that super helpful. So far, this mask definitely feels cooling. It doesn't, no, it doesn't smell of anything. I was actually really surprised when I first saw this, because I was like, oh wow, this is quite different for Fenty. Like, but then that is so Fenty. Like they always come up with something slightly, like 
different and innovative and I don't know, like there's such a cool brand. Okay, face mask is on. What do we think? I think I'm meant to rub it, right? I think I'm gonna rub it. Okay, so we're gonna start on this side. I'm gonna rub it to see what happens. Apparently the beads are meant to pop. Oh my God, it does go gray. <gasps> That's really cool. Oh my God. I mean, the contour. I feel like I'm, I'm giving that very like black and white animation character right now. Wow. Okay, so I've rubbed the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I look crazy! I look crazy, but it's really cool. I do love the transformation, like the transformative element of this product, I'm not gonna lie. But the real results is after 10 minutes when I rinse it off, is it gonna do anything? Like, how's my skin gonna look? So yeah, we've got 10 minutes where we're just gonna chill. We're gonna hang, we're gonna let this, you know, sink in. I might actually even eat my Nando's. Okay, so tip number three is going to be to Surround yourself with positive people. That's right, guys. Surround yourself with positive people. And this is really, really simple. You need to like stay away from negative people if you can. It, I mean, it's hard. It is hard because you know, like, you know, those people who are quite uplifting and they're like quite positive. And whenever you leave them, you're always feeling like, oh, I had such a good time. Like, I want to hang out with them. I had a really good time and I really enjoy their company versus those other people who are always like maybe a bit toxic, maybe a bit negative and like, I don't know, you kind of leave them and you're a bit like, mm, mm. so like definitely my circles are very small and I feel like, you know, it's so important that the people you're around are like uplifting and positive and you know, I always try to say like if people that you're around do not lift you up, if they're not hyping you up at your most amazing achievements, when you're achieving your goals and you know, like, I feel so blessed that all my friends, they're always with me when I'm achieving like amazing things and they've always been like, there around like quite big mo moments of my life. If you have a friend that's not hyping you up or giving you that same energy, then you might need to rethink that friendship, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and then I'll be right back and then I'm gonna rinse it off and show you what my skin looks like. <laughs> Hello peeps, I am back and it has been around about like 10 minutes and the face is cracking. The face is cracking. I feel like I'm cracking right now, but this is what the mask looks like. It's actually really cool. It's kind of like really dried up clay kind of vibes. I'm looking to the side because that's where my monitor is, but yeah. It's still comfortable, like it's not messy at all. Oh, maybe a little bit messy, but nothing crazy. So I'm gonna go and rinse this off now. Okay, so I've literally just rinsed my face with water. I haven't added any other products because I really wanted you to see what my skin looks like, like fresh out. And I'm actually, I'm more impressed than I thought I was gonna be, if I'm really honest. I don't know, my skin feels very soft. Very, very, very soft. This product is really all about pores and like cleaning out your pores um, without the dry out because sometimes clays really do dry out your skin a little bit. And I have to say, it does feel a little bit tight, like a little bit dry tight. Like I would still want to apply maybe like a serum or a moisturizer or something on my skin or maybe the Fenty Hydro Visor because I love that moisturizer so much. But it actually does feel really, really, really nice. Bearing in mind before, my skin didn't look so cute. So I hope, can you see that difference? Yeah, I do have quite big pores around here. My skin is combination. So I feel like if you are combination or oily, this product, this mask, I think it's gonna be really good for you. I think you're gonna really like this. And it's not actually out yet, so I am one of the first people to have it. Um, and that's why I really wanted to feature it, guys, because, like, no one's been talking about it, and I'm really, really excited. So it's all about your pores. I've got some key ingredients here that I've managed to find online. So we've got Kylan Clay. I hope I'm saying this right. But Kylan Clay to help extract dirt, oil, and impurities. 
um, which sounds amazing. There's also charcoal in there, which helps detoxify your pores, absorbs oil and impurities. And also salicylic acid, which is a BHA. I'm obsessed with salicylic acid. It's probably like one of my favorite ingredients. Salicylic acid along with hyaluronic acid right now are amazing. And although these are acids, they're not like scary or crazy. Like salicylic acid for me actually really transformed my skin and it really just keeps any breakouts, blackheads gone. Honestly, it's amazing. So definitely, if you haven't got salicylic acid in your routine, get it, because it's good, it's good. And then rhubarb and ginger extracts, which condition and soothe your skin. Mm. Okay, so to finish off my little skincare routine, I'm actually gonna be using the brand new Nip and Fab Hydrate range. This is currently going viral on TikTok. Everyone's talking about it and like mixing it with their foundations and stuff. So I'm gonna give it a little shake. Shake, 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 which mama gave you. And I'm going to apply. It's kind of like a serum. It's purely extreme hyaluronic acid, which we all love. And hyaluronic acid is all about hydration and adding amazing hydration to the skin. It actually attracts water and is naturally found in the skin already, but even as you're walking around, it will just attract moisture from the air and bring it into your skin. So it is, yeah. Hydration attracting at the same time, so it's amazing. It actually feels really nice. So my next motivational tip is to keep busy. That's right. Do you find that sometimes when you're like busy and you're on the go, and you're just like, you know, working hard and stuff, your body kind of, yes, you're a bit tired, but you, you just get on with it and you just crack on and you've got kind of got more energy because your body is like, okay, this person needs X amount of energy. I'm gonna make them that hungry so that they kind of fuel their body. So when I'm really bu busy, I feel like I'm more hungry because I'm doing more. And then I also feel quite tired at night and I have a really good deep sleep. But if I'm lazy and just like, being a bit of a bum and stuff, I actually feel still tired and just really lazy as well. I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired, I can't be bothered to do anything. So definitely resting is something that is very, very important, but also moving around. I think like movement, like it doesn't have to be going to the gym, like no one needs to be going to the gym if you don't want to. You can literally go for walks, you could do cycling, you could do something you're passionate about. You can just, you know, whatever it is, just keep on moving and then your body just thinks, okay, it gets used to you needing that much energy per day. It's kind of like a muscle. P.S. In case you're wondering what I'm using, I'm actually using this Clinique range. It's the Smart Clinical Repair Wrinkle Correcting Serum. It's not a, a first try product, okay? I've used it maybe like three, four times. I'm actually really liking it and... Oh girl, the boy needs to start looking after the wrinkles because yeah, obviously I'm using the um, wrinkle correcting eye cream as well. The textures of these products are actually really, really nice and I'm a huge fan of uh, Clinique. I've been using Clinique since I was a teenager when I used to have really bad skin because it was kind of like just a, the only thing that I felt like had really like effective products. Lip balm wise, I am going to use, oh, I'm gonna use this today, the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I wanted this for such a long time and now that I have it, I'm so, so glad. It's slightly tinted. This is actually beautiful if you're having like a no makeup day because it's slightly tinted and it's just like really, really nice, comforting on the lips. The packaging is everything. Look how beautiful that product is. Oh. And I'm gonna finish off with Glossier Future Dew. I, this is an oil serum hybrid. And yeah, I'm gonna pop this on because I want my skin to look amazing. Oh, this looks so cool. Look at this. So I would usually also moisturize as well. Should I moisturize as well? Oh, okay, let's do it. Um, we're gonna use this C Plus Collagen Deep Cream from Dr. Dennis Gross. Gross? Gross. A huge, huge fan of this brand. Insane. I actually feel like this brand is not hyped enough. I feel like their products just work and they're just so amazing. I love their daily peels. Um, all of their products, the textures just, mm, they're nice. I mean, they're just so nice. You know, I love skincare so much, but mm. this, I think for me, these products are quite sensory and that's what makes me enjoy them. Like, I know I'm just putting on this moisturizer, guys, but this texture is so, Oh, nice. If you can get your hands on this, I would highly recommend it. Everything I've used from this brand, 
I, I like, and it's just, it's kind of like Elemis for me. It's like every time I use something from Dr. Dennis Gross, I just love it. And I'm really gutted they don't really do pills anymore. Um, they used to do like, these facials in London, and they, they don't really do them anymore, which I'm really gutted about. But yeah, it really is like a rich cream. It feels insane. Okay, our final tip for being motivated is going to be mental state. Now, what do I mean about this? This is kind of like you and your thoughts and you believing in yourself. And I think that especially where I was at the beginning of the year versus now, I'm in so much of a better place. And you need to tell yourself that you can do it, you know? Like it's just the tiny little micro habits that you have, the way you think about things, the way you look at things, I think is so, so important. You need to understand that you can do it. You need to tell yourself that you can do it. Like don't doubt yourself. Doubt is always gonna hold you back. And trust me, I'm not perfect. I also have doubt, guys. Doubt is creeping in sometimes, but you know, you have to, you have to get beyond that. And I have this thing that I do where every single day when I wake up, I treat that as like, it's a new day, it's a fresh start. And that's a really good way. And that's why I call, like, that's why this final tip, mental state is so important to me because it's like, I want you to understand that when you start adapting those thoughts, then it will get you there. It's like every day you wake up, you're like, right, it's a fresh day, I can do this. And be kind to yourself, like speak kind words to yourself, like love yourself. Really, really hard, but try not to overthink things. Like I do it all the time, but when you overthink less and you just simplify things, you're gonna get further. And remember that with every great goal, cause tip number one was all about goal setting. Like as long as you have small steps every single day towards your bigger goal, then that's better than no steps. And I think in today's world with social media and everything just at the click of your fingers, then we all are so impatient. We just want everything right now. Like, you know, if I order something on Amazon now, it will come tomorrow. Sometimes if I order something in the morning, it will come that same day, which is just so crazy. So we've become so impatient that we lose grasp of our like bigger goals in life. So remember that if your goal is to like, I don't know, like post five videos every single week, then you need to think, okay, as long as I film one video every single day, then I can post one every single week and then I'll reach my weekly target. And then by the end of the year, I've reached my yearly target of how many pieces of content I wanna push out. Wow, I really went in there. I didn't even apply the, <laughs> the product. I'm so sorry. Okay, so this is it. This is what it looks like. It's actually very cool. And I also went to the Glossier store in LA near Melrose and it was insane. It says apply two pumps on to, Oh, she's slightly tinted, girl. She is slightly tinted. Okay, so two pumps. And this is the last step. When I do rub my face, I do go quite red, but it's completely fine. Do not stress, it will calm down. It will calm down, the redness goes down. It's literally been 30 seconds and the redness is gone, you see guys? But anyway, this is how my skin is looking. I absolutely love, look at that like radiance and glow. She's fresh and yeah, feeling good, feeling good. I'm feeling ready to get zen. I think I'm gonna go light a candle, chill with the BF for a little bit and then maybe read before bed or something. I don't know, I've been reading recently and it's been really nice and like just calming to the end of the day. Yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's been a bit of a mix of everything. It's kind of been, <laughs> it's been like the Fenty Beauty face mask review. It's been five motivational tips and also a get on ready with me. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you should click that like button, leave a comment below, help your boy out. And if you're new to the fam, then click that subscribe button as well and the bell so that you get a post notification every single time I post a brand new video. And um, yeah, these, these interactions and engagement like really means the world to me. Like that's what helps push my videos and stuff. So it would mean the world to me. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you can take one little piece away with it. You know me, I'm always about self-love and being kind to yourself. So remember to practice those things and I will see you in the next one. I'll see you soon, guys. I love you so much. Be kind, peace out, and I'll see you soon. Bye.